Oftentimes, we get questions here at Company. One of them that comes in fairly frequently is the questions about how much protein should I feed my dog. You know, people know enough about protein to know how important it is, to know it is one of the major, most essential nutrients needed, how it can build muscle, etc. But something very, very important that needs to be kept in mind is that protein is used along with the other nutrients that the dog needs in synergy to each other. They are synergistic. They are dependent. They work together. For instance, protein is needed in a certain ratio to the calories that the animal is getting. So the energy level in regard to how much energy is there to protein is a very, very important ratio. That level of energy needed versus that level of protein needed then goes down to, well, how much minerals are needed in regard to that energy and that protein, how many vitamins are needed in regard to that energy and that protein, how much fiber is needed in regard to that energy and that protein. These things work together synergistically to build a total top quality dog food. So the question of level of protein is a legitimate question, understandable, well-meaning dog lovers want to know what's best for their dog. We love those questions. And so we appreciate the opportunity to answer that. The amount of protein that a dog needs has been determined very, very carefully through years of research that started in the early 1800s. Uh, dogs were used in human nutrition studies in the early 1800s, fed different things to determine how much protein they could digest, what type of protein there was. I just want to give you that perspective that this isn't a Johnny-come-lately science. This is a science that's been progressing for over 200 years. So when it comes to today, in the year 2011, and we talk about protein in dogs, we have in incredible databases that tell us not only how much protein do they need in grams a day, but how much of that protein should be each of those 10 essential amino acids is comprising that total protein that they eat. So it's not just how much protein do they need, it's really how much of each of those 10 amino acids does my dog need a day. And that's based on how large a dog they are, their body weight. The larger the dog, the larger number of grams a day of protein they need, or of each amino acid. So sometimes people say, hey, uh, my, my breeder told me I needed to feed the highest protein dog food I could find. And some people say, and I found one that's 40% protein, dry dog food, so I'm going to feed it. That is a little surprising and shocking to a dog food nutritionist to hear that. And here's why. 40% protein is excessively high protein. It's not a little bit high, it's excessively high. It takes a lot of, new, of the portion of the formula for the ingredients that would have enough protein in them to make 40% crude protein in the food. Doesn't leave a lot of room in the rest of the recipe or formula to put the important carbohydrates, minerals, vitamins, fiber, other sources of energy like fat, it becomes unbalanced because of that very point. Somebody simply looking at protein thinking, this is the only thing I'm going to focus on. I want 40% protein. By golly, here we are. So you need to know, you have to keep it into the perspective of everything together. You can't just focus on protein. We know how much protein dogs need through scientific study. And you've gotten to the point now that you don't just need to focus on that and go for the highest protein you can get. Quite honestly, that's irresponsible. And as people that love your dogs and want the longest life, healthiest dog you can have, you don't need to follow that type of old wives' tale.